Hey guys, I'm back and I'm here for another product review. This time, not about the Peak Design Travel Line backpack, but about protecting two of my most beloved products that I use on the daily. And that would be my phone and my MacBook Pro. So for those that don't know, Vaja Cases started in 1999 as a small operation that was focused on the look, smell, and feel of Argentinian leather. Based out of Buenos Aires, uh, they've grown since, you know, it's been almost 20 years. And I've always known them as a company that's all about high quality leather goods for tech products. So as a little bit of background, I've actually known Vaja for a really long time because I bought a case from them back when I had the second ever iPhone and I was blown away by the quality, just how good the case was, how good the leather was. It was expensive, but well worth the price. So I'm. I'm here, it feels like I'm coming full circle reviewing a line of products for a couple of the new iPhones and my MacBook Pro 13 inch. So, let's jump right in. So when you receive your Vaja products in the mail, they're gonna come in these nice and elegant gift boxes, either in the saddle brown slash tan box or black box here. They're nice and giftable. They're wrapped around this um, piece of paper that says from our hands to yours. These are literally all handcrafted and handmade and they open up nice and easy. So what I have in front of me are various Vaja cases in front of me, including two for the iPhone 8, one for the XS, and of course one for the MacBook Pro 13 inch. So let's talk about the two iPhone 8 cases. So the first one is this wallet agenda case uh, in brown leather. Um, and some of the details that you see here are, you know, you got the emblem here, the, the bottom right corner. It opens up like an agenda case as you would expect. But what's unique about this is that it's got three different slots for cards. You got an additional pocket for cash and, a, and more cards. And on the back side, you got the opening for the camera and you got a nice little metal detail here at the bottom with Vaja in there. The leather feels really good. It's nice, soft and supple, but versatile at the same time. So I could tell that it's not gonna scratch as easily as the Apple one. Um, I tested this quite extensively and I was able to put a lot of cards in here, three here at the top, and I put two more in the back plus cash, that's five cards in cash. That was really cool. I like this because, you know, my dream has always been like minimalist and can I carry pretty much my phone and wallet all in one and this allowed me to achieve that. However, there's some cons with this. A few of them I can think of are, uh, it doesn't have a magnetic closing. So because I packed the front with so much stuff, it really bulged out from the phone. It didn't really close properly most of the time. So when I put it on the on the table, it would kind of stick out just a little bit. It wouldn't close fully. Um, the other thing as well is that these type of cases don't really work well in the car. So if you have a car mount that has a clamp on both sides, so imagine the clamp being here, closes it, the doors kind of in the way it closes. You can try to force it open a little bit, but it could get in the way of driving. It's just not that convenient to use. So that's, I, I learned that the hard way. I realized, oh wait, this is not gonna work in the car. Um, in terms of daily use, I kind of got used to using the phone kind of like this. Um, the phone, uh, let me get, get the iPhone 8. It goes in really easily. It was really, uh, the, the, the case itself was, was easy to operate. Um, I pretty much folded the back uh, all, the way, all the way around and I could use the phone this way or I would hold the phone like this with my fingers here, wrap it around and then start using it that way. Um, I guess that's how people use these wallet agenda cases. So this was all good. Now, if I go to the next case, uh, this is what they call the Nico leather case. It's basically another agenda, but a little bit different. So I found that the leather on the Nico to be even more rugged. So you could really feel the dimples, the grains of the leather, which I really appreciated. This is in black. You got the same details, the emblem in the front, this time in the middle. You got the metal accent on the back bottom side that has Vaja, the leather inside also is imprinted with Vaja all the way through, which is a staple for all their products. Um, what was different is that, you know, you're obviously not gonna have all your cards here. So this is not really gonna be a wallet replacement. The phone goes in really easily like the other case. Main feature for this case is on the back side. So if you open up the back, you actually have 
another compartment here. And this compartment is really only good for folded up cash, uh, maybe one card, I'd say one card or two, um, really for transportation. I feel like it would be good for that. Um, any kind of uh, transit card that you have to tap would be useful. Uh, but other than that, you probably wouldn't be able to put too much else in. The, the button here is magnetic, so it closes really easily. The other nice feature on top is that the cover is magnetic, so it works with the phone in terms of its magnets to be closed shut. Uh, but then you're probably wondering, is that gonna interfere with the wireless charging? And I tested both of these cases, no issues with wireless charging. Uh, you got access to all your ports on the bottom, uh, and both cases are designed to have access to all the buttons uh, on either side, so they're not covered up, really easy to use. Now, why don't we move on to the third case? This is the case for the iPhone XS Plus. So a very large phone. Uh, what really attracted me about this case is just how sexy it looked. I mean, this is a designer's case. If you look at it, you got incredible detail in terms of stitching, perforated leather, which you don't really see in cases like this. And on each of these ridges, th there's almost um, some padding uh, on the bottom, so you got these raised ridges all the way through, kind of like um, a really fancy, I guess, leather jacket or something like that. Something straight out of the GQ magazine looks really awesome. Uh, case is really easy to put on. This is your standard clam, clamshell case, I guess you could call it. Um, pops right in. Uh, all four corners are protected. You got access to full port on the bottom and speakers. You got access to uh, buttons on both sides. The back side, the camera opening is perfect actually, even though they've shifted it a little bit, it still fits. And finally, the metal accent at the bottom is kind of nice. They've, come, they've kind of uh, complemented the black accent here with the camera opening with black metal accent that says Vaha. So that's really the only place that has the Vaha logo, but man, it, it feels really good. It's, um, it's a nice high quality leather. Uh, smells like it too, and it's really grippy. Uh, it's perforated, of course, that really allows for that. So it feels good in the hands. Um, so this is a pretty awesome case. Last thing before I go, I'm gonna talk about the biggest surprise, which was this clamshell case. I mean, clamshell cases for MacBooks have been around for a long time. They're usually plastic. You can get them on Amazon for super cheap. This one is kind of like that, but wrapped around really high quality leather. So I'd say the clamshell is pretty standard, you know, PVC type plastic. It's got uh, legs uh, on the bottom, cushioned legs, uh, and you got holes on both ends for ventilation. I didn't really feel like I had issues with heat now that uh, once I had the case on top, you got the emblem here at the top corner to kind of identify, but it's really subtle. The leather is very similar to the Nico. And what I mean by that is that it's very textured, which really gives it a luxurious feel to it. Very grippy as well, which you kind of need with a laptop case. You don't want it sliding around in your hands. So it feels really good. And lastly, it's just really easy to put on. So really it's designed to just kind of click in place. And I can do it right here in front of you. Just kind of click, click, click on the corners. It just clicks in place and you can hear the clicks. And then you got the bottom side here. You kind of just slide it in. I found that's the best way to put it on. Oops. And kind of clicks in and then and that's it. So I've been, I've been working with this, uh, bringing it out to coffee shops and things like that. It does add a little bit of extra weight and thickness, of course, so that's one sacrifice you have to make. Uh, but you got access to all your lightning ports, your uh, stereo port as well. Um, like I said, no real issues with ventilation. It's kind of nice and raised, which I think adds a little bit more. It's nice and raised, which I think adds a little bit of additional ventilation for the hot air to go instead of being right on the ground, um, but it feels good, I love it. This is probably my favorite product out of all of them. So one thing about the other MacBooks I've had in the past is that because I use it on the go and I travel with it, uh, obviously it's gonna hit things along the way and those corners are probably the most um, susceptible to that type of damage. With this, it uh, keeps it all nice and protected. I'm never really gonna have corner issues. The only exposed corners 
are these ones here, so be mindful of that, but I think the chances of that are pretty low. The logo here in the front is protected as well from scratches, so it is a pretty well protected case, and the leather, like I said, super, super luxurious, um, really good cowhide uh, that they use, and uh, I wouldn't expect anything less from Baja. So anyways, that's what I wanted to do, just show you these cases for anyone curious about their line of products. Uh, Vaja is a pretty legit company. At the beginning, I wasn't really sure because they came from Argentina. They have offices uh, in Miami as well, so things ship from the US um, and everything's crafted down in Argentina, um, but really high-end stuff, uh, really, really good. They're gonna be a little bit more expensive, so you are paying a premium. But again, if you're looking for high quality leather goods that are handcrafted, handmade, uh, custom tailored for your various products, whether it's your phone or your laptop, um, you should definitely consider them. They make backpacks as well. So anyways, this is Will from Going Awesome Places. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Make sure you like, subscribe, and stay tuned because there's a lot more content coming your way. I'll see you guys next time.